Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Good evening. Okay. Which chapter we should do today? Mm -hmm. It's a new chapter. Yeah, that's that prayer relation got over, no? Last class. Oh, yes, sir. We have that so many, uh, this one also, right? We just... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So... Let me check once. Further, which question, which chapter we should do? <clears throat> sir, many were telling real numbers, sir. Real yes, number, sir. real numbers, okay, fine. In school, real numbers got over, right? Yes, sir, first chapter only. All of you on the camera now will start. Dhananjay, I can see only Dhananjay right now. Uh, Sahasra, CBC 10, real numbers, okay. Introduction. Let's slam up. Sir, uh, Euclid's lemma, many topics are deleted, sir. Euclid's lemma is not there. It's no, not sir, it's not there. So, HCF is not there for you people. HCF. HCF, HCF is there, sir. But not Euclid's yes, number. Sir. Okay. So, without Euclid formula, you are doing HCF. Finding HCF or what? Yes, sir. How you are finding? Suppose I am asking here, HCF of 10 and 15. What is the answer for this? Hmm? What is the answer for this? Tell me. HCF of 10 and 15. What is the answer for this? Who will tell the answer? You can find the answer and tell me by how to proceed further. You are doing by division method only, right? Doing division or what? Factorization. What are you doing actually generally? Division uh, lemma only, sir. But Prime factorization, sir. Like 10 you are writing as 2 and 2, 5. Like this, right? 15 yes, you are writing as... Uh, Three into five, so five five is common. So your HCF is five. Like this, only you are finding. Yes, sir. No other method you people have, right? No, sir. Like division, something you have not done, like this ten, 
then 15 yes sir we have done that sir but when you have done in your class only yes so that like at that, that time we did know all the race class portion all of the children all of you on the camera shrestha dhanonjay tanishka if immediately if i remove everyone who is not on sir my camera is not working sir it's actually on but it's not working whose camera mine shrestha okay why what is the problem in your camera i'm not sure sir i'll have to check it after the tuition nihal you want kartik what is your problem every time you are having problem right nihal nihal and then again you want kartik actually you want kartik right you want kartik hello you want can you hear me you want Harshit, I'll not allow anybody. Nehal, just make your camera proper. And so now we start the class. And so first, what is real numbers? Tell me, Nehal. Nehal, what is real number? The combination of uh, rational and irrational numbers. Okay. Combination of, combination of rational and irrational numbers. What yes. are rational numbers? So, which is not in the. Uh... the oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The rational numbers which are in the p by q form, sir. P by q form, right? Yes. Q is not equal to zero. Yes. Where q is not equal to zero, okay, and p and q are prime factors. Uh, sorry, co-prime numbers. What are co-prime yes. numbers? P and q are co-prime numbers. It should compulsory. It should be co-prime numbers. Numbers so, which have two. only one and the number itself as the common numbers, common common factor. Yes, common yes. factor. Tell me number which is having co-prime number. Tell me the example of co-prime numbers. Sir, three and four, two. Three and four. Other two, numbers. Oh, no, sir. But four is not a prime. Yes, sir. Four is not a co-prime number, sir. Not four. It's a combination. Co means what? Combination of two prime numbers. Not two prime numbers. The combination of two numbers which is co-prime. So what is the definition of this? I'll tell you. You might not be knowing. It's not compulsory that this both numbers should be what. Sir, we can tell uh, three and six. Three and six. What? No, no. Six also it is not a prime. See, this is co-prime number. Why? Because three if you write no. So three into one. If four if you write two into two into one. So here only one is a common factor. What do you say? O prime is a numbers combination of two numbers, which is having only one as a common factor. What? Which have only one as a common factor. It's not compulsory that both numbers are what? Both numbers are prime or something like that. What is the form? What is the distinct definition? The combination of two numbers such that their common factors is one. Common factor is what? Only one. It's not means other numbers like three and four is correct. What he told that is correct. Okay. So if I tell another another example, you tell me another example. Anyone can tell me what is another example for this? Two and three. Seven and twenty-three. Two and three. Two and five also. Two and three, two and five, yes. Six and seven. See, all continuous two numbers are always co-prime numbers. Any two combination of just immediate two numbers, consecutive numbers are co-prime numbers. You can take it take any two numbers: two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, like that. Okay. So, uh, combination of any two numbers. Just take any two numbers. Continuous number that is what co-prime numbers. So what are irrational number? Now rational number is clear to everyone. Yes. Now what are yes, irrational sir. numbers? What are irrational numbers now? 
which cannot be written in the form of p by q okay which cannot be written in the form of p by q which number are those sir like uh, root 2 okay root 2 then pi sir root 3 okay root 3 sir pi also na sir pi okay then if i tell 1.111111 keep on going then this one this is rational or irrational irrational sir irrational irrational this is rational number okay 1.1 1 bar is what rational number this is not irrational remember this is rational number if i tell you 1.010101 then this is rational number if anything is repeating some after point or something like that that is rational number so what is definition first you tell me what is definition of rational number then you will be clarify everything the number Danunjay. which cannot be written in the p by q danunjay i'm removing right now to you okay i'll just now remove i'll just you are off on you are doing right your camera is working perfectly you know in the middle just i remove still there he is right sorry dananjay i'm removing right now okay removing from the meeting just go back home so i remove you right now dananjay and you are sidely just showing the mirror you are not front of the camera so one huh? minute come in front of the camera one minute so anyone tell me what is definition of irrational number ivan kartik sir definition i need with definition of this sir rational or irrational number yeah irrational number sir which cannot be written in the form of p by q yeah the what actually that is fine which cannot be written in p by q if real number is written in p by q form obviously anyone can say right some proper yes, definition sir. you tell me how can i understand easily that this is a not in this is a rational number sir i don't know it's not the clarity i don't have sir on that okay any one of you except one kartik sir uh, those numbers which are uh, non terminating and are non repeating non terminating non repeating right yeah that's yes true. sir uh, monish are you there in meeting monish so right here non terminating non repeating non terminating and non repeating both and non repeating it should not repeat also and it should not terminate also that's why i told you when i'm just telling 1.1111 something is this is what this is repeating so yes. repeat, repeating is coming into picture so this is rational number this is non repeating non terminating both should be there okay both should be there so examples if i write examples are root 2 root 3 root 5 pi 1.01001001 keep on going right this is not going to end anywhere this is non terminating non repeating so rational and irrational numbers got cleared what are rational what are irrational numbers okay this is fine next is euclid's lemma you people not have but it's take only 1 minute time to explain this okay so this uh, division part you don't have children right division part you don't have sir even reminder theorem we don't have okay reminder theorem you don't know no, don't have right yes, so this euclid lemma is also not there for you right yes that's not okay so anyway just remember this is what we have no dividend is equal to divisor into quotient Plus remainder, right? So 
dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder means we just tell that a is equal to bq plus r this is a thing what we have with us this is only lemma nothing else means one uh, state the rules is there in algorithm algorithm is set of rules right by which we are just finding the hcf over here to so see euclid's algorithm states that positive integer a and b that exist unique integer q and r so this is your formula you can write over here okay that's all so if you are finding hcf of 225 and 867 so what do you do you do by factorization method right all of you do by factorization method only right yes sir. all of you find the hcf of 867 and 225 you will do prime factorization for both 225 and 867 yes, separately right so yes sir. yes sir so 225 can be written as what 25 into 9 so 5 into 5 3 into 3 5 into 5, 3 into 3. 25 into 9 is 225. 867, what we can write for 867? Which table this goes? 3. 86, 3, 7, 3 is a 21. 3 table, right? 3, 2 is a 6. 3 table, yes, sir. Again, 3, 7 is a 20. Uh, 3, 8 is a 24. 3, 9 is a 289, 17, 17, right? So yes, sir. 867. Uh, can be written as 3 into 17 into 17. So here, what is common? 3 is common over here. 3. 3, sir. So LCM is equals to 3. So all of you know, right? Yes, sir. Okay, find the HCF of... Now you find the HCF of 196 and 38220. Second and third. All of you just do and just... Write in the chat box, second and third question. All of you find the HCF of the second and third question. <clears throat> find the hcf of you want kartik i'll remove right now you just for long time i was waiting for you okay you guys come here and just just remove i just not submit or report okay don't report i'll do those who are not owning the camera, just re I'll just remove immediately. I'm not going to allow anybody who is want to simply sitting over here and time pass doing here. If you have really problem, just tell me in message, you just do me. <laughs> Second and third, all of you write in the chat box, all of you. Second and third question for this.
<coughs> Monish, you got both the answers. Sir, just a second, sir. It's about to go to work. So I did a small mistake in the answer, sir. Uh, again, I sent you the answer, sir. That's nice. Only one child has given the answers. Only one, two, three. Saharsa, Nihal, Harshit, Sreyashi. Sir, is my answer correct? Which answers? Two, two answers I, I asked. I'll tell you the answer right now. 130, 196 wala part, right? Uh, what is the answer here? Mohit, Monish? Sir, for the second question, it is 196. 196 only? Yes, sir. All of you got 196? Yes, sir. 195. No, sir. Yes, sir. 195. 196, how will go in 195 table? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Sir, how 196 will go in 195 table? Tell me. So this is 196 only. Last one, what is the answer for this? So 51. 51, yes. 196, this is 51. Anyone having doubt in this? How to do? Sir, how did you get 196, sir? Yes, sir. We are finding HCF only, right, sir? Yeah. What do you got the HCF? Sir, I got See, 196, if you solve, everything will get a common in 38220. Everything will get common over there. Yes, so, the answer is 196 only. So, let's show over here. Tell me. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yes, 38220. Tanishka, tell me what is the factor? What are the factors over here for this? So, it's uh, 38220 is 2 into 2. Into five into three. No, how many times two is there that you tell only two? How many times have there two? Two in uh, two times, sir. Okay, two two in times seven two times seven two times. Okay, five once. Okay, three once, thirteen once. Thirteen once. Okay, and for number 196, sir, so two two times and seven two times. So, you see, try to understand here. This is 2. This is repeating here. Again, 7 is also repeating. Again, 2 is also repeating and 7 is also repeating. If you multiply, you'll get 196. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. So, this first question is clear to everyone. It's sir, 38220, we can write it as 196 into 195, sir. And then now 196, we can write 196 into 1. We are That's not dealing with this. Uh, we should write only with prime numbers only, not with 195 into 196. Yes, sir. Then only prime number you should write. <coughs> so first question is over. Now second question you see. 
this one is given that show that any positive odd integer is of the form of 6q plus 1 any positive integer should be what should be form of 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5 means you should not come 6q plus 2 or 6q plus 3 and all okay so Euclid's lemma is there but questions is there children they have done in class no sir we haven't done so this have the, the, the exercise only escaped or what yes sir okay there there this is the exercise that they have only not done right which so, exercise so this chapter yeah. we have only hcf and lcm nothing else yes sir. This, whole, this whole chapter whole chapter we have only hcf and lcm and uh proving um that iteration number satisfaction so this is there no i went to take lcm and hcf right this is a question based on that right these questions are not there. Euclid is a lemma. Got is over. This is not no, there. Sir. No, sir. We don't. no, sir. Okay, fine. Then leave off. So, first exercise you did basic concept. Then, second, uh, proving sums you have. Rational number proving sums, right? Yes. Yes, sir. We have. To. Okay. So, this question's got over. Now, see, express each of the following numbers. As a product of its prime factors. So 140, 156, 3825, 5005. This everyone can do, right? Yes. So what if you know LCM HCF, you can do it easily. So this part, first and second part is your homework. First and second part is your homework. Next, coming down to next part. Find the LCM and HCF of all these numbers. So 12, 15, 21. So similarly, this also we can do, right? By prime factors of what is coming common, that is HCF. So one, one question we'll do over here. So see, 12, 15, 21, 12, 15, 21. So 12 is 3, 4 is 12, 3, 4 is 12, 15, 3, 5 is 15, 3, 7 is 21. So here, HCF is 3. Directly you can write here, HCF is 3. What about LCM? LCM 3 and what is the pending over here now that everything should be multiply over here, right? So 4 into 5 into 7. 4 into 5 into 7. So now you do 4, 5, 4 is 20 and 7, 3 is 21. 21 into 20, 4, 20. Over, that's that's it, all right? Similarly, all of you do this uh, Second question, all of you find the LCM and HCF. HCF and LCM, you tell me now for this one. So can you take out your eraser or cursor? So can you move your cursor, sir? Sir, how did you take the 3 into 4 into 5 into 7 for LCM? Not getting. Why have getting? See, HCF you should compulsory, you should consider over here. HCF is 3. And what are the pending numbers that you should write over here? See. Okay, sir. Pending uh, four, numbers five, are 4, five, four five, 7. Over. So these are the numbers which are common that we should write. And apart from that, the pending number we have to write. Okay. Yes.
So answer someone wrote HCF is one. Dhanunjay. Hmm. What is LCM, Dhananjay? I think we have to multiply everything, no? Here, LCM, HCF is 1. And you should, for LCM, you should multiply 17 into 23. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. You have to multiply all of them, sir. Because nothing is common over here, right? Yes, sir. Now, what yes, is your... Uh, tell me. So it's one one double three nine. One one double three nine. Okay. So same case for the third one also, sir. Same case for third one. Yes, sir. HCF Something will be one. Common. Okay. Eighteen hundred will be the LCM. Eighteen hundred. Yes, sir. Okay. So HCF is one. And LCM is 1800. So now next question is, see HCF and LCM is given, uh, LCM, uh, HCF is given, you have to find LCM over here. So one formula you should remember over here, okay? See two numbers, LCM, into HCF is nothing but product of two numbers. Okay. LCM into HCF is nothing but what product of two numbers. So see, here both numbers is given to us, right? 306 into 657. HCF is given as 9. So LCM you have to find. All of you can find LCM over here? Yes, sir. So LCM is equal to you can do? Yes. Find Yes. We cancel directly here only, right? So, Dhananjay got the answer, right, Dhananjay? 22338. So, 9 you can cancel, 9. 9 3s are 27. Again, 9 4s are 36. If you multiply, you'll get Dhananjay got the answer, same answer. 22338. 22338. Okay. Now, proof of rational numbers we have now, right? Proof of rational numbers. So, this is one format you should remember, children. Only one format is there. That format you just remember and just do, okay? So here format is, if anything is they ask that root 2 is rational number you have to prove, then what you have to do here is, first you let, first you let root 2 is rational number, okay, let root 2 is what, rational number, just ulta you do, okay. Nehal, I'll remove right now to you also and Harshit, both of you. 
I right now I removed her uh, this one. You want Karthik? Now it's your turn. Without any intimation, I'll remove both of you here. Nihal, where are you? It is continuously off. So first you should let that root two is rational number. Then if root two is rational number, then sec first step you see here, I written here, root two is form of what? P by Q. Root two is nothing but what? in the form of what p by q this is the first equation what we have where q is not equal to zero this is the first step what we have which step you are having doubt you let let me know okay if root 2 is a rational number it should be in form of p by q where q is not equal to zero and p and q are co prime integers that is very very important Sentence you have to write P and Q are co prime integers. On squaring both sides, what do we get? 2 is equals to P square plus Q square. This, this is the second step. 2 is equals to P square plus Q square. Then, second step, what we have to do here? Cross multiply we do. So, 2Q square, P square equal to what? 2Q square. P square is equal to what? 2Q square. So this one, I just erase this from here. I just erase this part. So P square is equal to what? 2Q square. It means what? P square, 2, this Q square is a multiple of 2. Can you see this? Q square is a multiple of P. Can you see? Yes, sir. P is a multiple of Two also you can say p is what p is a multiple of two can you see this if i'm writing here eight is equals to two into four or 14 is equals to two into seven it means 14 is the multiple of two right can we write like this 14 is a multiple of two so here what we have written here p is a multiple of two can you see this step number four step number four i have mentioned here P is a multiple of 2 in place of Q square as written here M. In place of Q square, what I have written here? M. Clear to everyone, children? Till 4 step, you tell me what you have yes. in doubt. Till 4 step. Now, 5th step, you see. Sir, I have the 4th step. 4th step, why we are writing? Fourth step, just we are writing as P is a multiple of 2 over if P square is equals to 2Q square. So P square is multiple of 2. Then P is also multiple of 2 only, no? Understood or not? Yes. So multiple of 2 we have written in 2 into M. That's it. Over, clear? Yes. So P is a multiple of 2. So P is equal to 2M. Similarly, you're squaring both sides. Now, fourth one. Now, what we are doing? You're squaring both sides. What we'll get? We'll get it as P square is equal to 4M square. P square is equal to what? 4M square. So, we are just squaring this one. This one is squaring both sides. Squaring both sides we get the down one okay next p square we get from equation number two suppose i'll write here this is equation number one this is equation number two okay so this is from two i'll write here from two in place of p square i have written here 4m square can you see this 2q square is equal to 2q square is equal to what? 4m square. All of you are difficult to understand, no? All of you children. So I do once again. So I raise and do once again. It may be more clear to you people, right? Yes, sir. Once again, can you please? I think you people are just having doubt if I'm writing in this way. 
simply this thing only if i'm teaching you people are having some doubt right if i teach line by line then you may understand better okay from starting i'll tell you okay see first if they are asking here root 2 is rational number irrational irrational number you should prove so let that it is irrational number then what you can write root 2 is equals to p by q okay where right here where q is not equal to 0 and p and q are what Co prime integers. Co prime integers. Now we just do cross multiplication. What do we get? 2q is equals to p. Or we can write p square is equals to 2q square. Now we can write p is a multiple of 2. p is equals to 2m. Or we can write p is a multiple of 2. P is multiple of 2. Clear till here? Anyone having doubt? Tell me, children. Now, what we do now? Squaring both sides is here also. Here also is squaring both sides. What do we get? P square is equals to 4m square. Now, this is equation number 1. So, in place of P square, right here, 2q square is equals to 4m square. So, 2, 2 is a 4. So, we got q square is equal to 2m square. It's clear or not, children? See, question number 2 is clear to everyone. Why we are doing now? We are just trying to prove that p and q are multiple of 2. That we are trying to prove over here. So, here we have done already that p is a multiple of 2, right? But down also we have to prove now q is also multiple of 2. Now down I'll write here q is also multiple of what? 2. Clear? Q is also multiple of 2. T you can write if you want. So q is also multiple of 2. See, if p and q both are multiple of 2, then this is what? Irrational number. Now down you just see right now. See this, see this, this step. our assumption is what wrong so p by q is not rational number root 2 is an irrational number children who is having doubt over here just let me know who is having doubt over here please let me know this you have to remember this green color one you have to remember okay this green color part you have to remember and tell me okay So root 2 is a rational number. You can prove all of you. Anyone having doubt, any steps? Tell me if you are having any steps, doubt or something like that. Tell me the step yeah, number. We doubt. can tell that uh, in the P is equals to 2M only, we can tell that it is not a uh, Which step you are having doubt? Tell me which step you are talking about. Tell me 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. Now tell me which step you are having doubt over here. So fifth step, I'm telling that uh, we can uh, tell there only it is it is not uh, it is not a rational number. See fifth step, you can say no p is a multiple of two. You can say or not. If p a square is a multiple of two, you can't say p is also multiple of two only. Yes. Mm, Nehal. Yes. Say. Hmm. PQ have same common factor too. This contradicts our assumption is wrong. So PQ is not rational number. So root 2 is what? Irrational number. Clear? Anyone have a doubt? Now what you do? All of you prove that root 3 is rational number. In place of 2, you should put 3. 
all of you proof in the notebook and just send me on whatsapp all of you do same pattern you have to do same pattern you have to do and tell me same pattern all of you do root 2 is rational root 3 is rational number root 2 b is rational number If you anyone has any doubt, you can ask any steps. If you are having doubt in any steps, you can ask. Sir, should we have it now? Sir? If you saw it, send me on WhatsApp. Uh, we should share it. Uh... 
what personally what we should what we should uh, we should uh, share the personally sir in the whatsapp to you yeah whatsapp you know no just share me personally don't uh, say in the chat box as you become uh, Sir, I've shared it. Okay. So, root 2 is rational, assume root 2 p multiple of 3. Yeah, correct, Tanishka is done correctly. Okay. Next, nine one triple seven. Who's this? Is Nehal's nine one double seven. Whose number is nine one triple seven? Whose number? Sir, mine. Dhananjay, yours. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So A by B. See, you written here. Root 3 is A by B. P is not equal to 0, you have not written. Dhananjay. Okay. P is not equal to 0, you have not written. Haribari simply have written here. Huh? So 3 divides A. A is equal to 3C. Where you copied all this? No, sir. Hmm? Both A and B have common factor. 3, this contradict our assumption is wrong. A is not rational. Okay, fine then. So only two children have shared. Dhananjay and Tanishka. Sir, my dear, one minute. Sir, even I said so. Yeah, one more. Well, sharing, write your name also, children. Uh, so root 2 is a rational number. P by Q. Yeah, correctly. You have done correctly only. Yes. Monish also did well. Okay, Saharsa so also did uh, correct only. Sir, I also said. Sir, you also not written Q is not equal to zero over there. Sir, I did right. Q is not equal to zero. No, Achha, lastly you written. Yeah, correct. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, fine. Can Nehal also have done? Okay. So you understood root two. If they ask, so this part is clear to everyone. Yes. Now see children, if they ask in different way, if they ask in this way, then what to do? If they ask, you prove that seven plus three root three is a rational number. Then you have to a small brain you have to use over here. Simply you can write here, see, seven plus three root three is equals to P by Q. And try to bring only root three on the left hand side, everything on right hand side. Clear children? Try to bring. Yes, sir. Try to bring only root 3 on left hand side and everything on right hand side. So after that, you can just prove root 3 is irrational so that you can write this is also what? Irrational number. Okay. okay so in this whole part, you bring root 3 separately and you can prove again, you should prove that root 3 is irrational. Okay. Clear? If it is given that root 3 is irrational, then not, no need to prove again. See, repeating once again the same question. If they are given this question and they have given that root 3 is irrational, then prove that this is irrational. Then while doing this one, root 3 is on left hand side. So directly you can say root 3 is irrational. So this is what? Irrational number. But if they not given this is, if this they have not given, then you have to prove root 3 is what? Irrational after this also. 
then you can write this clear to everyone what to do okay sir okay sir okay sir so 7 plus 3 root 3 like this you can prove anything else left in this chapter i think word problems based on hcf and lcm right i believe some questions we should do based on HC, lcm and hcf right yes sir yes sir there are uh, word, word problems, problems yes on lcm and hcf and uh, if you move further anything more is there let me check yeah one more concept is that how do we get to know without actual division how do we get to know that the fr uh, fraction is terminating or non terminating without actual division how to find whether the fraction is terminating or non terminating any one of you can tell me any one of you without actual division how do we say that factor is is factors or fraction fraction is terminating or non terminating no one knows no sir yes tell me any one of you know you finish the chapter in school right children all of you finish sir, the chapter i don't think we have done this one sir we haven't done this one sir. yes sir this is very small concept children very small concept see you should see the denominator i'll tell you the concept denominator denominator factors are two or five or both okay you should find the denominator factor if it is two or five or both two two and five then it's terminating otherwise not then it's what terminating otherwise not suppose i'm telling one example 1 by 8 this is what 1 by 2 to the power 3 2 is there no so this is what terminating clear children if it is 1 by 125 or so what you can write 1 by 5 to the power 3 so 1 five by 5 to the power 3 this is terminating okay if it is 1 by 200 so this is what 1 by 2 into 100 means what 5 into uh, 25 into 4 25 yeah. into 4 so this is also terminating only 2 to the power 3 5 to the power 2 this is what terminating clear is it clear to everyone yes sir so see these are the uh, fractions given over here to check which is terminating which is non terminating you just message me all the five at a time okay which is terminating which is non terminating there are five fractions over here which is terminating which is not terminating tell me now all of you here only chat box you write
Sarah sent my answers. Sir, thank you, my answer. Okay, yes. see, now I'll just see it through the answers. Check it, all of you, whether the answers are correct or not. Check it out. First one is terminating, non terminating. Answers are correct. Sir, third one is terminating, right? Sir, is the third one terminating? Which question? Third one. One by 15. So three by three into five. Three is coming over there, right? So three is extra, no? It's not two or five, right? If any other number is coming okay, in, between, sir. that is non-terminating. Only so so it has to be two or five or both and no extra number. Yeah, no extra number. Yes, only but two, only five correct? or both. So three is coming with that is non-terminating. Okay, sir. Sir, if it is a three into five, it is terminating. If it is. Okay. Nehal, tell me correctly. Tell. Yeah, if, if it is a three into five, it is non-terminating. Non yes, because three is coming into picture. Yes. Only two, only five, or two and five both. Okay. Okay. So that's for today, children. I think this one also you understood. You can do it easily. And last part is there that is, you know, all of you that how to. These questions are there how to write terminal expansions and all. We just do few questions based on HCF, LCM, like, you know, uh, word problems kind of thing on Tuesday. Okay. Okay, so Tuesday, I don't think your class will be there. Can we do it on mon Monday? Monday is fine, children? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Monday, you don't have any class, right? Monday, people okay, won't yeah. have any class, right? So we have science class. You don't have maths, you don't have science, right? Sir, I think we, sir, I think we have science. Yes. Science you have on Tuesday only, right? Sorry, sorry, you have on Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. So Monday you have eight uh, seven thirty to eight thirty. You can do six thirty to seven thirty, right? If I take. Yes, sir. Okay, fine, yes. fine. If I'm taking this message you in the group. Okay, thank sir, you. Uh, tomorrow thank you. test on which topic? Uh, next okay, week. sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Yeah, tell me which topic I should consider. This only we will do, I think, the word problems and few more questions, right? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank, bye, you, sir. thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, 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 bye.